Nation's Joe Khalil joining us live as the Democrats once again will be nominating uh, Hakeem Jeffries for speaker. Uh, Joe, we're hearing that Republicans may be even further apart than they were when vote one happened yesterday. Is that still true? And will Representative Cole's words uh, ring true in the chamber that he could sway anyone who's on the fence? So we're going to find out. I mean, if we've learned anything, Marty, from this specific Congress, it's that things can change very quickly and that sometimes we have our own assumptions challenged. Having said that, based on conversations I've had with Republican members, with Republican sources last night and again this morning, most of them think that Jim Jordan is not going to have the votes he needs, at least in this next round of voting that's going to happen just momentarily. You know, it may be less important if he actually wins the vote in the second around and it may be more important to find out whether he has gained momentum from yesterday whether he does better or worse than that first vote remember he lost 20 Republicans, which frankly came as a surprise to many people around Jim Jordan who expected they were going to lose some, but 20 was a bit more than they had thought. So if it goes in the wrong direction for him and he ends up losing 25 Republicans, for example, in this next round of voting, uh, that backwards momentum for him is not going to be good. In fact, that may be a sign uh, that he may not get to 217. Uh, to in total. But we're going to see. Uh, there's some reporting that Tom Emmer, the, the GOP whip, the person who is supposed to be counting the votes, says he feels confident that Jordan can still pull this off. Uh, we're going to find out momentarily where he is. Uh, I do want to mention, Marnie, we, we reported this yesterday. And there are discussions among both Republicans and Democrats that if Jordan comes up short and does not uh, win on this round of voting here that we're going to see in a minute, uh, they may be able to do some kind of compromise where they give Patrick McHenry who's the temporary speaker, speaker pro tempore now, uh, some more authority to be able to do more than just uh, preside over this House speaker election. Maybe he could have the authority to uh, work some legislation, aid for Israel, for example, all of the things that we've been talking about that need to get done. Um, you know, it, it's gotten to a point now where if Jordan doesn't capture it on this second vote, there are serious things facing this Congress that they want to get done. So the compromise between Jeffries on the Democratic side and some Republicans to give McHenry uh, temporary uh, authority here seems like that is moving uh, and, and does have some real momentum, Marty. Right. Certainly planning for uh, the plan B, given the fact that the president is now uh, heading back to the United States and says he will be asking Congress yeah. For a package to support Israel by the end of the week. All right, Joe, uh, Joe Khalil at the Capitol. Joe will be checking back in once the vote gets underway. Thank you for that. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.